I'm Sherry Boshert reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the Society of Hospital Medicine annual meeting. Dr. Cannon Hurd reported that there have been some important recent changes in how to handle acetaminophen overdoses. Until recently, acetaminophen overdose has been treated with acetylcysteine using time-based protocols, either a 72-hour protocol or a 20-hour IV protocol. And what we found is that the 72-hour protocol is probably longer than the vast majority of patients need, and that in some cases the 20-hour intravenous protocol may not be long enough for patients with very large ingestions. Prior to the mid-2000s, everyone in the U.S. Was, was treated essentially most commonly with the 72-hour protocol. And what we found is it was at that point really unheard of for patients to have failure if treatment uh, was initiated early. They, they generally did very well. And then in the, the mid-2000s, the intravenous formulation of acetylcysteine was uh, developed, and it's been um, a, a significant improvement in that it's much better tolerated by patients. But what we have found is that in some cases, patients with massive uh, ingestions, that 20-hour protocol may not be enough because they can take such large ingestions that they'll have uh, acetaminophen remaining in their, in their stomach or in their GI tract past the point of when the acetylcysteine therapy is done and essentially what you have is another overdose occurring from the from the drug that remains in their GI tract. So the best way to avoid these these problems is really to treat the patient using a, a clinical endpoints rather than treating them based on time protocols. And so what we recommend is following the patient's serum acetaminophen concentration and also following uh, their markers of liver injury, so their, their transaminases. And once you get to the point where the acetaminophen concentration is low, usually non-detectable or in the therapeutic range, and it's clear that their markers of liver injury, their transaminases are, are either remaining normal or going down, at that point and it's safe to stop treatment. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Boshert.